Hey, I'm Brian Fuller. Welcome to my workshop, Fuller Hot Rods. Well, if you're watching this, you probably have a rusty tank. Guess what? You're at the right place because this is going to be very easy to get the rust out. And I'm going to show you how with Metal Rescue. Now, I've done a lot of gas tanks over the years. In fact, one of my main jobs here at Fuller Hot Rods is to modify, change, or build uh, tanks. Now, if you have a car tank, you can also strip rust out of a car tank as well, or basically any kind of tank that has rust in it. So, first thing you want to do is make sure that you get the part off and you need it to hold water. So leave the petcock on, leave the cap on. If you've got a crossover, once you pull it off, either cap the end or put a tube across. Basically make it hold fluid. Um, second thing you wanna do is get rid of the oil, gas, varnish, muck, anything that's gonna be inside the tank. Now we've already done that here. You can put ball bearings in, uh, soap and water, hot, obviously hot works better. Um, pressure washers, any way you can do to get the varnish and oil out of the tank because Metal Rescue is a water-based solution so it's not going to go through that oily substance and get to the rust where it needs to be. So one of the cool things about this whole process as well is you don't need any special tools. I mean if you look I pretty much got everything I need. I need some Metal Rescue and I need a tank that holds water. So we've already done this tank as far as this uh, removing the oil varnish step. If you look at this, look at all that we brought out of here. That is a big pile of rust, and that's just in one little tank. I mean, that's probably a gallon and a half. All right, well, let's get this baby started. So all you need, we're going to take a bucket. We're going to put our tank into a plastic container. And you say, why, Brian, why? Why do we do that? Well, let's say you pour your metal rescue in and there may not be holding this thing together much, but paint and rust. So it's a good idea. And obviously, if you're doing mm, a little bit of spilling, it's not going to be a problem. Now, this is non-corrosive. We didn't really talk about it much, but this is water-based. Not a big deal. Put it on yourself. Get it on the outside. This isn't going to hurt any of your gaskets. Um, it's not going to hurt rubber. It's not going to hurt your pet cock. It's not going to hurt really anything other than the rust. You're going to let it sit for right about 24 hours. And a big, big, big important thing is you want to fill this baby to the brim. And the reason is you have no idea how much rust is in here. I mean, it could be just a surface rust. And if it is, you might be able to get away with maybe a half, you know, maybe just a half tank. But just to be safe, what we recommend is go ahead and fill it up to the top. And that way you know that you're going to get all of the rust out if possible. And you let it sit for 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and fill her up, close the lid, and then you're done. All right, let's just say it's all the way to the top. I mean, you can follow along at that point, right? Okay, one more thing. Temperature. I want to make sure that this is up above 68, 70 degrees, and it's going to work best if it gets a little bit warmer. So don't sit it outside where it's really cold. Get it to a good temperature so you can work it. Now we've already done a tank, so let me show you that. And we cut it open so you could see inside. Look at that. I mean, all that rust is gone on one side. It's really pretty. All that patina is there. And for guys out there that love patina like I do, this is just the most perfect way to do it because you look at the inside. I mean, look how clean that is. It's perfectly clean on one side. And then you get in that other side and it's just full of muck. I mean, this thing really just pulls rust from the metal slowly pulling it back into the water solution. So you can see what a great job this does. Now, color won't matter, except for on some of the red colors. You might have an issue because of the red oxide that's in it because it does attack iron oxides. And if you're really worried about it on a really expensive red tank, just do a little bit of tests on somewhere you're not worried about. Nine times out of 10, at least, you're not even gonna have to worry about it. All right, let's move on to the rinse. Once again, super easy. Now you've let it sit for 24 hours. All the rust is going, but you may have a really thick coat of rust. So let's look inside and just see how it's doing. When you start pouring it out, if it's black, obviously it's doing its magic. And you know, if, if you only have a little bit of rust, it's not gonna be crazy black. You might actually be able to reuse it again. 
The blacker it is, the more rust is saturated the water, the less you're going to be able to reuse it. And by the way, if you don't have a lot in it, up to a year, which is great. So the three things you can rinse it out with are gasoline, new metal rescue, or if you want to let the tank sit around for a while, they've got a water-based rust preventative from Workshop Hero. Say it again. Water-based rust preventative from Workshop Hero. That's right. Now the way this works, you pour it in, rinse it around in the tank, and it's going to keep rust off of it for up to a year. When you're done, say it's sitting around for a year, now you want to use the tank, simply rinse it out with gasoline and you're good to go. Now, by the way, while we're here, dry coat, got the little spray bottle. You can keep rust off the outside or anything that you have laying around the shop, which is awesome. Now let's talk about tank sealers a little bit. A lot of guys use tank sealers in the industry. We don't recommend it and for a couple of reasons. One, it's not tested with metal rescue to a level which we're comfortable two, the brand of sealer that you get, and three, once you seal it, it's really hard to get out. Obviously, you can see how easy it is to remove rust again if you need to. You pop the tank, you put more metal rescue in, you get rid of the rust, piece of cake. So if you have pinholes and such, get it soldered, weld it, whatever you need to do to fix it. How easy is that? We're done. You just pour metal rescue in, you let it do its magic, and you pour it out and rinse it. So sweet. Now, at the end of the video, we're going to summarize for you. We're going to give you all the list of everything that you need to do so you can stop, play, stop, play. But other than that, speaking of play, I got some playing to do, so I am out. I'll catch you next time.